Hey everyone, this is a clip from a recent episode of the Men of Steel podcast, where we talk about Superman and Superman adjacent topics. If you enjoy this clip, check out the podcast. You can find it at certainpov.com or wherever you get your shows. So looking, like, you know, we're kind of, we've, we've been circling around this all because like they're, the actual events of this movie, again, as we've said, all happen in the comics. So when we went issue by issue in the comics, we've gone through all of the big ticket items. There's a couple minor differences. As we said, like, there's a great bit that McDuffie introduced of the, like, what would you do with superpowers? I'd help people. You would. Like, the wonderful stuff that's that's in there. I think there's a lot of, like, polishing of already, like, very, very obvious gems that are going on throughout this whole thing. Like I said, the confrontation with Luther at the end, where he feels much more indebted to society and comes off really making a, a full-on heel turn or a heel face turn. Whereas in the comic, he, it's there, but I think it's less, like, pronounced in it all I think it works better in the in, in the actual animated finale like those are all things that work really well about this all and then the other side of it is that again we, we said this at the beginning this is a mass market thing you know like it is much easier to convince a person to watch a 70 minute cartoon than say sit down with 12 comic issues and read this <laughs> incredibly dense thing so my question to the table because again all the events happen and like while you might think like all right yeah barrel and lilo could have been moved and replaced with a different thing you know it would have been nice to have the carnivore what all, all those elements like but my question to the table is does this effectively sell all-star superman as a bigger story and does this effectively sell Superman which is the goal of this whole project in general which is like let's tell the best version of a Superman story to get people who kind of wrote off Superman back on board I think it does I do think it does a great job representing the comic itself and the story it's telling and it's clear that the story they're telling is within the framework of if you have a cursory like knowledge to DCAU you can kind of get behind this because, you know, Ma Kent shows up despite the fact that the Kents are dead in the comics. And just kind of the the overall vibe of it feels like you can kind of like watch this as a kind of loose extension of Superman TS. Um, I do think it does a great job selling this this, this version of Superman to uh, to like people who kind of fell off the character for a bit. I agree. I, 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 I do. I agree with... Uh... It be it selling the comic and the character. I have nothing else to add. Duke said it best. <laughs> I do want to point out that they did cut my favorite line from the comic, and it's such a it's such a it's a, such an awful pun. But in the prison interview, when Lex Luthor's talking about the bibliobot, he says it could recite the frequent it could re recite Moby Dick at a frequency that could shatter Earth. Right? Literally. Boring, so boring the earth. Yeah. <laughs> Lex Luthor thinks Moby Dick is boring. I think that's a great pun. He would think, he would think. Right? What a dick. What a dick. <laughs> and that's why I love Lex. <laughs> uh, J. Mike, for, for you, since you came to this movie first, like in terms of like selling the story, like as far as being a compelling thing and, and whatnot, like did that all work for you? D like, did this make you like Superman more? Does, you know, what was its impact on you? It makes me appreciate Superman more. Like, uh, so whenever you have a big comic person tell you, like, hey, you know, you should really get in this character because of blah, blah, blah. For Superman, one of the first things they tell you is you got to read All-Star Superman. It's like your gateway into the Superman mythos. And like, that's from, like, a bunch of people I talked to at, like, cons and, and MAGFest and all that other stuff. And it kind of rings true because this is, like, the perfect, like you said, the perfect example of, of what it means to be Superman. And... Do I think I have some nitpicks here or there? Maybe. Sure. But it's still like one of the best. If It's one of the best things if you ever want to get into the Superman mythos. Period. And sound. Bar none. Without a doubt. I agree. After you're done liking and subscribing, check out certainpov.com where you can find more episodes of the show as well as a ton of other great shows.